Okay, next thing. Okay. The layered tags. already done this but it was from the other side and it didn't leave any black ink on this side of the paper. I don't want to do that. most used color of my distress ink pads.
the next thing to do is to score these. And um, I have found what I perceive to be a flaw in the uh, pattern or somebody did a serious typo. Where's my scoreboard? But I uh, scored a set of papers the way they say to and tried to build it. And it didn't, did not work for me. So, we are going to, I'm going to do it this way. Okay, first tag, score at three and three quarters, and at four and a quarter. The next one, score at three, and three and three quarters. As I pull these down, if you'll notice the first and the second score lines on the preceding on the tags match there. Two and a quarter and three. See? They they just sort of step down. They wanted to do one and two and a quarter. And that makes the next one not work. So there's two and a quarter, which matches here. I did mine at one and a half. matches perfectly. So you can see how these step. So I'm pretty sure their fourth tag they have a, a miss. They have a typo. Have to. So you fold on the score closest to the bottom edge. This is now on the inside. The um, last tag fits right here. And what they have you do is put a couple of brads here to hold these. And it will catch it here. And this folds up. And then this one won't come out. So I'm going to get my... Get my it's right here. Hole. 
I want it in the middle. And about an inch in. This wants to scoot when it's folded, so I'm just going to adhere down the back. It definitely wants to scoot. down with wet glue.
so now we need a strip to go across here. tape didn't even know it so what I've done is laid down a three-quarter inch strip across here as you see when I this it moves so I didn't glue it here this is free moving in here but I did glue it down on the other sides and then the strips up and down and here is a small piece of um, the cut apart for December and it the paper set was oh what was the paper set um, oh, place and time I love that paper set the cut aparts are just beautiful um, so that's what what you missed. Woohoo. So not a lot. Right now I'm um, I punched out some photo corners with my Marseth Stewart photo corner punch and embosser and I'm just going over the edges with um, fired brick because it's not a solid core paper. And um, I'm going to put these on the front, wrapping to the back, and they should look just fine. I love these distress markers. You know, the fact that they get into these itty bitty spaces would be enough. I like I like coloring with them. There's a nice product. Okay, so get these folded. These are going to give some stability to these corners, which, since the cover is just a single sheet of um, heavy scrapbook paper, I'm pretty sure that's important. just fine.
some more blue there. Anything you can do that adds stability to a, a single sheet, especially being used as a cover like this, seems like a good idea to me. to use these papers we've cut out, I'm sure, to um, embellish It's going to be hilarious to figure out what goes where. Alright. Really long one here. Well, all I can say is I'm glad I have more of this paper.
by three and three eighths. Pretty sure. probably aren't working because they're not their, their uh, tags and um, I should have taken that into consideration.
with this camera. Um, I don't know if the camera caught it or not, but I got the last two pages with the mats on. Um, I'll probably go back and, and do the back later. Um, these in here are simply just little pockets that you can tuck you know, things in photo mats, journaling tags, um, maybe you went to a special event and you have a ticket stub or something. Let's cook it neatly back in there. 